Hey everybody, welcome back to another Business of Trucking video. Thanks for joining me. If you're an owner-operator, you already know that there's there's no shortage of taxes to pay as an owner-operator. We're taxed to death, you know, highway use tax, fuel tax, weight distance tax, you know, your IRP fees, your UCR, all these different things, and that's, you know, above and beyond your, your income tax. So if there's, money, if there's money that can be saved on taxes, we definitely want to do that. Now, I'm not a tax attorney or CPA, so you know, always look into things for yourself. Consult a professional. But I'm going to show you some, some money on taxes you can save here uh, going forward. And uh, stick around, we'll talk about it. Welcome to the channel. Yeah. Do it yourself, semi. Hey, yo, DIY, semi. Come on, won't you let me help you simplify what you like me? Hey, yo, DIY, semi. Come on, won't you let me help you make a profit in life? Yeah, we gon' break it down, break it down. Come on, make a profit, break it down, break it down. Simplify, don't stop it, break it down, break it down. Come on, make a profit, break it down, break it down. Simplify, don't stop it, hey. So what exactly am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about sales tax. It's a tax that gets really overlooked. Most people don't bother to take the time to do tax exempt forms and, and fill them out and hand them out. But if you sit down and, and run some numbers, it really adds up at the end of the year. It could be, you know, well over a thousand dollars if you know if you have a lot of stuff work done and such. You know, it can be a lot of money. Even just the day to day things you buy for the truck. So <clears throat> Let's start with how exactly do you save this money? Well, what you need is a this is a state issue. It's, it's, every state's going to be a little different. Let's say that first. And a lot of times you can get a tax exempt form for these states. Now, what I did is I went online. I just did a search each state for a tax exempt form and printed them out, filled it out, ran off a you know, a couple dozen photocopies of each, and I keep them. I keep them in this binder right here. This is actually from my truck. See, you can see it's dirty. <laughs> but um, so then in this binder, I'll keep these forms. This is this happens to be an Ohio sales tax and use blanket exemption form. You fill that out at the time of service and give it to them they'll they won't charge you sales tax now some states don't have sales tax to begin with um, Alaska Delaware Montana New Hampshire and Oregon don't have sales tax to begin with and some states don't have sales tax on certain items like Minnesota and clothing but that doesn't really affect us here in trucking but with these tax exempt forms I put together a list of states here that you can look into and, and save yourself the time of searching each state and print out some forms and keep them with you in a binder like this. It's really easy to hand them out and it's well worth it. Okay, so they are. I gotta. I had to write them down here because there's a lot. Indiana, Michigan, Illinois, Wisconsin, Georgia, Ohio, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Washington, Kansas, Missouri. I'm sorry, I already said Missouri, Maryland, and New York. Now, the rules are going to be different in each state. Excuse me, in each state. So you need to read these forms. <clears throat> some states are going to want your MC number. Some states are going to want your DOT number. Some states, like, like Pennsylvania, they want your PUC number, or if you're from out of state, they'll take your DOT number or MC number. Every state is a little different. You need to read the rules. Okay? Now, what counts as being sales tax exempt? Well, in most states, it's not just any old thing you buy for trucking, okay? In most states, it's going to be something that, just a general rule, okay? It's not, a, it's not written in stone, but it's going to be something that gets attached to the truck or becomes part of the truck or trailer. So parts, any of your parts, brakes, shocks, whatever, if it gets attached to that truck, it's going to be tax exempt for the most part. Also, oil, grease, things like that, okay? So don't forget to, you know, when you go to your local hardware store, if there's a place you buy your oil or grease, turn in the tax exempt form, okay? My local hardware store I like to buy from, I, 
took a tax exempt form to the service desk said hey I want to get tax exempt they gave me this little key card here every time I buy something like that for the truck this is where I buy my oil swipe this card takes off the sales tax okay don't cheat it don't don't buy gloves and say that they're tax exempt because they're not and if you get audited the state don't play we should all know that now I've read in a lot of online forums Walmart won't participate in this good luck buying tax exempt at Walmart here you go right here hold my beer I got me a tax exempt Walmart card see that so anytime I buy a lot of people like to buy their motor oil at Walmart go to the service counter or actually I did that online I went to the walmart.com way down in the bottom there and you know, all the small writing somewhere is something about business or taxes I don't remember you have to do some searching and you fill out the form it'll take several weeks but they'll send you a card like that in the mail and then anywhere where you can purchase tax exempt Walmart will give you a tax exempt sale so there you have it and you know the reason I carry these tax exempt forms with me in the truck is you know Speedco you go to Speedco for your lubes or grease jobs or whatever they do accept these tax exempt forms and they will you know there's a couple in Indiana I go to I just give them the form tell them to keep it on file they don't charge me sales tax you can make these things a one-time use there's a little box on a lot of them you can check for continuous just do that you know at home every place you know you if you buy your parts from Freightliner Kenworth whatever always have that on file with them so that you don't have to worry about it each time they're real good about following it so don't forget about that now <clears throat> something else to remember is say you need a full set of drive tires and you live in say you live in Arizona you have a regular run to the Midwest so you could really theoretically buy those tires in just about any state in your route now if those tires are thirty six hundred dollars at home in Arizona and you travel through like Kansas or Missouri okay the same set of tires as say it's thirty seven hundred dollars so it's a hundred dollars more in Kansas for that same set of tires but you have to remember in Kansas those tires are tax exempt so your all-in price is still thirty seven hundred dollars whereas in Arizona um, not sure what Arizona sales tax is but say it's six percent you're gonna be at thirty eight hundred and thirty dollars for that set of tires by the time they add tax in so always remember that on your bigger purchases and you know just make sure it's legit so you're not buying something that doesn't qualify but you're, you're good with tires uh, you know always factor that in on your bigger purchases like if you get some engine work done you know that can be expensive you want to make real sure that they don't charge you sales tax if you're if you can get the exemption from it so always remember that now this also pertains to buying equipment trucks trailers you know they call it rolling stock okay most states in many states your truck and trailer when you purchase them will be tax exempt now if you're from one state and buying in another state you might have to play the game of arguing with the salesman that this is supposed to be tax exempt or it's not you know or my state doesn't charge sales tax your state does but I'm titling it in my state you're gonna have to do your homework and, and educate the salesman and argue with them because some of them don't know okay arm yourself with information and you'll win that argument save yourself a ton of money now this is not pertain to excise tax we're talking only about sales tax we're not talking about apportionment we're not talking about registrations we're talking about sales tax okay so just just remember that and also when you're purchasing supplies that become part of the truck you know oil grease windshield wash fluid uh, parts anything like that like I said don't don't cheat this because if you ever get audited you, you're gonna get hammered pretty hard so play by the rules okay that about does it uh, for this so if you like these kinds of things hit that like button and subscribe and 
We'll try to keep some good information coming your way.